Hi there, listener. We, the editorial team of The Manufacturer, have the great privilege of bringing you interviews from some of the best manufacturers, leaders, industry analysts, young pioneers, innovators, and solution providers. But sadly, we can't possibly fit all of them into our podcast episodes. Fear not, though, because you're listening to Archives, a platform where you can hear these fascinating and thought-provoking interviews in full. In this episode, we speak to Andrew Schofield, chair of the Northwest Aerospace Alliance, an initiative which supports the county's advanced manufacturing and engineering companies. This interview was taken from the show floor at Smart Factory Expo 2022. Here we are then on day two of Smart Factory Expo at Digital Manufacturing Week, and it has been a truly fantastic show so far. Andrew Schofield joins us here on the Manufacturer Studio. Um, Andrew, thank you for coming along. How have you enjoyed it so far, this event? Yeah, yeah really good. I mean, it's um, similar to previous years and great um, great support. And I think, uh, like I said, in the uh, SME Girls Summit um, talk that I gave, it's a, it's a credit to the manufacturer and, and the Hennig Group for continuing to put on such a great event. So we're really pleased to support it. Fantastic. Well, very glad to hear that. Um, you've been involved in the SME Growth Summit uh, today. Can you tell us a little bit about what you've been talking about, specifically um, around the Watchtower program and how and yeah, why that came yeah. about? So, um, so my role within the Northwest Aerospace Alliance is actually I'm the chairman of the um, of, of the alliance, and um, so I gave the opportunity really in the SME Growth Summit to talk about an an, in, an in, initiative that's been sponsored by Lancashire County Council called Watchtower. Um, and, and how it can support the SMEs in the Lancashire area. Fantastic stuff. Um, so, uh, who's involved, and uh, what role um, does Northwest Aerospace Alliance yeah, there's, play? There's, there's a few companies involved, and, and, and maybe I have to say a few words about how it came about in the first place. So, um, if we go back a couple of years, so the pandemic obviously impacted on, on on everybody, and at the time, the Lancashire Enterprise Partnership, the local enterprise partnership, the Lancashire LEP. Um, and you think about the northwest, and particularly Lancashire, is a heavily aerospace um, sort of dominated uh, part of the country. And um, the Lancashire uh, Enterprise Partnership um, really sort of thought actually the pandemic's having a major impact uh, on the aerospace business. So a task force was put together and um, really looked at how what can be put in place to help companies in the aerospace industry and probably more specifically now the advanced engineering and manufacturing companies how can they recover and start to grow following the pandemic so um, a lot of interventions and discussions were held and the the evidence base that Lancashire County Council used was was put in was used to put in place what's known as the Watchtower program which is really helping the companies in the region to um, to sort of grow and become more be competitive as a result of the pandemic. Fantastic. I mean, maybe you could go in a little bit more into kind of how it works and how it's going to provide assistance and support. Yeah. So how, how it works is there's sort of three main focus areas, and um, and, and there's, there's sort of three companies involved with it actually. And the Northwest Aerospace Lines um, is, is taking the lead on four of the five work packages uh, in in partnership with Aerospace Consulting, uh, and also there's a company in Blackburn that sort of focuses on skills. Uh, which is uh, community business partners. So the three partners involved with it, and, and, and how it works really is is identifying uh, companies who, who need to support around innovation, they need support around diversification, and they need support around skills development. And that, that's um, that's really the essence of what we're trying to do here. How important then is it to, uh, to promote manufacturing, do you feel? I mean, generally, and then just within the region? Uh, in, in terms of manufacturing across the UK, it's, it's vitally important to uh, and to continue to sort of talk about the capability. Uh, it's also very important to talk about the the, the future capability of of, um, of, of manufacturing and and, um, and and where that's taking us. And more specifically, in the northwest, and, and again narrowing it down to Lancashire, it, it's, it's vitally important. It's a hundred years of, of sort of heritage and experience in in aerospace, particularly. But when you look at um, uh, and the future, particularly the new sectors uh, are, are being established. So, um, how how does aerospace get connected with automotive, uh, nuclear, space, hydrogen? So there's, there's a lot of opportunities. But more importantly, is how do we um, identify the capability of the Northwest and, and Lancashire, and what that's going to be known for in the future? It's known for sort of 100 years ago, so cotton mills and then aerospace. Mm. But now, what, what, what's the, what does the future look like? So mm. it's important to promote the capability within advanced engineering and manufacturing, not just within aerospace uh, sector. 
And how's it been going? Because I've, I've, you've been launched back in March, I believe. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's been going very well. Um, yeah, launched back in March. It's a two-year program. Yeah. And the first phase really was was doing a, a number of sort of roundtable workshops, um, it's particularly around diversification, which is giving SMEs an opportunity to understand what does it mean for an aerospace company to be a supplier into defence? What does it mean for an aerospace company to be a supplier into automotive? What does it mean for an automotive supplier to be involved with defence? What, 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 what are the sort of hurdles and, um, and um, um, initiatives that, that, um, that needs to be put in place? So, uh, and also giving a bit of a, getting a bit of a view of what the future might look like in those sectors that, that gives a company then I've used to be an aerospace supplier but now I want to be involved in nuclear so what does that mean or space so it's been going well um, a number of companies have been identified that want the support around innovation for example there's been a, a tremendous amount of investment put into um, research centres like the AMRC Northwest, uh, UCLan, uh, Cent University of Central Lancashire, um, Edge Hill uh, in, in Liverpool, uh, and also University of Lancaster. Lancaster. So um, the SMEs need access to that, and they need an assessment of how innovative they are or how innovative they need to be. It's really great to get your thoughts today, Andrew. Okay, thanks thank for joining us. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed that, listener. Keep an ear out for more episodes like this one, and of course for more episodes of the Manufacturer Podcast. Whatever streaming site you're listening on, be it Spotify or Apple Music, be sure to give this podcast a follow and a rating. And if you're watching this on YouTube, why not subscribe to our channel for the latest video content?